for the new guys that came in after the spring, obviously, they're worth it for the summer. How do you feel that they've, they've adjusted and that they've gotten on board? And like you said, the expectations of what you guys are doing, how do you feel that they've all adjusted and, and worked themselves into the to play? Yeah, I think they, they adjusted really well. Um, I think that has part to do with um, you know our strength staff and our training and conditioning this summer. I think that um, you know, once you come in, that first day you come in, you know, you're automatically putting a workout group and you're starting work, early work and um, you know, you're, you're getting prepared you know, for the season. Um, and that doesn't really have a lot to do with football coaches during the summer because they're not, they're not here very much and, um, they, you know, they're pretty hands off. You know, once August starts, you know, it's, it's full go. Um, so I think they did do a really good job at getting prepared you know, to come into the season and be able to play. I think Coach Joe and those guys did an amazing job at getting their bodies ready um, or even, you know, just slightly ready to experience their first camp, you know, because it takes time um, for sure just to, for your body to develop and for you to be ready to actually play in college. Um, I feel like those guys did a great job. I feel like as players, we did a great job at, at leading those guys and, you know, teaching them the offense and, you know, just trying to get them to, you know, have a grasp of our system. And then going to KMT, I mean, obviously it was a long tradition for a very long time. Obviously, COVID kind of changed what they to do, but getting to go up there for a few days. And I know I talked to a show in here with me and Hector yeah. Media News and said, you know, even Jim, guys putting down their phones, yeah. obviously, not that you don't interact with them, but down your phone. What's, what's the benefit and, and how cool is it for you to, to experience that Sunday level tradition to get to go up to KMT? Yeah, man, it's, it's awesome, man. It's an experience that not many other people can say that they have. You know, I'd say that, you know, some teams prior to this, those are the only people in the world that can say that I, I went to KMT in Arizona State. Uh, so I think it's a blessing. Um, it really is like an honor to be able to do that. Because, um, you know, like I said, only a, a select few guys can say that. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. You know, not many times do a bunch of 18 to 22 year olds have to put their phone down or choose to put their phone down. Um, so I think it's going to be interesting. I think, you know, some guys won't like it, of course, which is natural. Um, but I think it'll be a dope experience, you know what I'm saying? I, I like to take everything just as an experience. Um, as I got older, I just, I've been able to look back at the things that I've done throughout my years in college and you know, the different places that we've been to and different team bonding things. You know, during the time I didn't necessarily maybe appreciate, you know, what we were, what we were doing or where we were going, but now that I look back on it, man, like, you don't get those times again, you know what I'm saying? You know, you don't get the times to be up in a, a cabin, you know, in Northern Arizona with a hundred other teammates, you know, you, you don't get that, you'll never get that again. You know, that'll be the last time that we're in a, a setting like that. Um, so, you know, while it's, you know, while you have the, the factors of the heat and, you know, phone and internet and stuff like that, I'm really just you know, trying to appreciate my time while I'm there and just really enjoy it. I know it's the last time I'm going to ever do it, so I'm, uh, I'm excited. And you don't think uh, Coach Dillingham is going to pull a uh, Coach Coach tonight or sort of make anybody walk back down the hill to get back to 10 feet, right? <laughs> I don't think any. I don't think he will, man. I don't think he will. We, we've had meetings about it, you know, talking about getting to there. So he's excited, you know, he's excited. He's excited just to, just to have us there. It's for him to do the tradition, too. Um, but no, nah, I, I don't think he will. He, he likes to pull some jokes and pull some pranks and everything. He's a funny dude, but I, I don't know. I hope I, he, I know he'll want us to be ready, you know, to get back on the field. So I don't think anything will happen. It's grown as, as a pass catcher. Yeah, I feel like I've grown so much as a pass catcher. Um, just so much last year. You know, I caught more passes than I have ever caught in any season combined that I've ever played in. Um, I learned just so so much from Coach Wood um, and Coach Glenn and you know all those guys. Uh, having Coach Wood as a tight end coach was the first time I really got to learn how to run routes and you know just pass concepts. Like before that, I, I, I was never really taught that.